This is my test demo for using Explain Everything app for the online portion of my academic therapy sessions with teens and young adults with ADHD. Um, it's solving two-step equations and hopefully this will replace bulkier systems that I've used in the past. Boy, this is something. If I could spend dollars on one thing, it would be getting rid of two-step equations from the Algebra 1 curriculum. Uh, I spent a lot of time getting kids to write using the steps. So here we go. The first thing that you're going to do is to draw a line down the equal sign so that you can make sure that you're separating the left side from the right side. Now, one of the things that I like you to do is I'd like you to circle the term that has the variable in it. And then you know that's the one you're going to do second. The one that you don't circle is the one that you do first. That's called the constant. So, the first thing you're going to do is to take the opposite. So the opposite of positive 3 is negative 3. So I'm going to subtract 3 from this side. And I'm going to subtract 3 from this side. Then you know I love to change color, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to draw the line going across, and I'm going to cancel out. The positive 3 and the negative 3 cancel each other out. You know it makes me bananas, so the other way you can say it is, if you have 3 minus 3, that's 0. So then you're going to grab your calculator because you know you've got a calculator accommodation. Never, ever, ever try to solve integers on your own. You're not perfect, but the calculator is. So 8 minus 3 is 5. And you're just going to bring down the 5. Now, what's my favorite color? Oh, you know it's red. So the 5 and the x are together, and when you have the 5 and the x together, it's the same thing as multiplication. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So I'm going to divide this side by 5. I'm going to divide this side by 5. And the other thing you know besides my favorite color being red is that I write too big. So I'm going to cancel this 5 and this 5 out, and that's going to leave you with x. And grab that calculator. What's 5 divided by 5? Well, all day it's 1. So the answer is x equals 1. If you just write 1 there, I'm going to mark it wrong. You have to have the x there too. So x equals 1.